today I'm uh, filming the Neath College's dance show. It's gonna be spectacular. What they do, what uh, Neath College does, which is very unique, is they take these stories like uh, Wizard of Oz, um, Excalibur, you know, etc, etc. And today is Hansel and Gretel. And they relay the story through dance purely through dance there's no speaking so it's a bit like 1930s silent movies where everything was done through body language facial expressions so yeah it's spectacular and the other thing is as i mentioned in previous videos one of the things that's very um quite unique is that these dance shows are almost like a reunion because all the previous students going back to, I would say at least two three years they would come and watch the shows oh there's a guy in another defender um, they would come and watch the shows as well so I'm really looking forward honestly Christmas would not be Christmas without uh, watching one of uh, Craig's shows. It's going to be spectacular. I roughly know the story of Hansel and Gretel, but I'm not sure if it's the same one where uh, it's about the two children that get lost in the woods and um, they sort of put breadcrumbs down to find their way back and the birds eat the bre breadcrumbs. I don't know, I mean, we're going back a long time now for me to remember this story, but it'd be really interesting to see how this will be performed through dance. I don't even know who's going to be who. Is that a hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love her. It's a friend of mine, she was waving and I couldn't see who it was. I was wondering, who is it? Who's flashing the lights at me? It's Kobe, she's so lovely. So lovely. It's not surprising that previous um, students always come back to watch the shows. I can't imagine, honestly, I cannot imagine a Christmas without wanting one of Craig's shows. I remember the first time I uh, filmed there, I was um, standing with the audience, so I was right in the back with a couple of cameras and there was this little old lady sitting next to me, so during the interval I tend to just chit chat to whoever is next to me and I was talking away, chatting away with this uh, lovely lady, old lady, and I thought maybe her grandchildren were on stage or, you know, somebody she knows was on stage and she was just there to support them. So I said, oh, so which one's your daughter or granddaughter? She said, oh, no, I, I don't know anyone in the cast. So that's how you know your show is amazing because it's not just the relatives that come and watch it it's total stranger that are willing to pay money to come and watch the show so to me every single pupil on that stage is a professional the shows are incredible they really are incredible Pressure on 
families who are already struggling. I think people sometimes forget that Christmas is about love. I'm Craig Coombs. I'm the artistic director of this Hansel and Gretel production. And I'm also one of the dance lecturers here at Neath College in the role of subject leader and course coordinator for dance. This production has been a wonderful experience, I hope, for all the students that have taken up the opportunity to take part in this production. The students on stage range from students that take BTEC and A-level dance, as well as students from across the college that take other vocational and A-level subjects. I think the bringing together of these students on stage this evening is a real, uh, a real credit to the hard work that they've put in as much as the hard work of the lecturing team and the technical team and all the support people that have helped out with this production. This production is number seven of all the fairy tale productions that we've done here in the college, ranging from The Nutcracker through to Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, The Wizard of Oz, Red Riding Hood, Excalibur, and now Hansel and Gretel. And it's part of a 10-year plan to do fairy tale productions every Christmas for the students, the community, and their friends and family. Uh, this show tonight has been a challenge because we're doing it under COVID conditions. So there's been a lot of um, paperwork and stuff to do behind the scenes to make the show happen. Uh, to get it from the page to the stage has been, has been an enormous journey. And after all the meetings and all the rehearsals, I'm just really thankful that we've made it here the final night of the show. And we have live audience in for the first time since the first lockdown. And that in itself has been a new and exciting challenge for, for both me and the students to reintroduce those um, plans for a live audience and reintroduce the, um, the, the preparations that everyone needs to make sure that it goes, goes ahead as well as it could. As a contemporary trained dancer, um, I'm really um, fortunate to be able to explore and experiment with new ideas for these fairy tales. And for tonight with Hansel and Gretel, we have really used our process to find what's right in the show, to find what's right with the narrative, with the movement we choose, or the music we use. It's a big collaborative process by where everyone involved has a role, everyone involved takes ownership of that role, and the dancing on stage is just part of a bigger picture collaboration. Some of the dancers on stage are responsible, they're my captains, they're responsible for different elements of the production, for example the dance captain or the music captain, and um, everyone has worked really hard to come together to produce this. Some of the dancers on stage have never danced before and some are very, very experienced and plan to go on to train um, in professional dance. And the joy of bringing them all together to produce something, I think there's 33 cast members in total, which is one of my largest casts, bringing them together to achieve this is, is remarkable actually. The fact that they've committed to the um, rehearsal schedule, they have committed to what I've asked them to do on stage, and actually the process can be uh, quite humorous, quite, uh, quite all over the place sometimes, organised chaos maybe. But I think there's a vision there and I try to ensure that all the dance performers, all the students, share the same vision as, as I do um, when it comes to recreating these, these age-old fairy tale stories. Tonight we've, uh, we've changed up some of the characters. We don't have a gingerbread house, but we have a candy cane land. 
Um, the witch has a lot more um, going on for her and her backstory. And as always, which seems to be the tradition of my work, uh, it's set in, a, set in a school. It's set in the fairy tale school, whereby Hansel and Gretel are rather naughty, and then they uh, escape into this fantasy land of sweets. So um, the final point would be um, a big thank you to all the collaborators, all the students that have been part of this production. I think it's a pleasure every year that I see their development and their learning because at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do here in the dance department at the college. That is promote learning for all, um, that is to promote the skills and the talents of the students that, that come through the doors. And just creating that little bit of magic at Christmas time that keeps us all going, I think, um, when it comes to this time of year. Um, I often say to the students that we're going to make magic happen on stage, and there's three ingredients to making that magic happen. The first ingredient is time. We need the time to do it. The second ingredient is hard work. And the final ingredient, of course, is talent. The talent of everybody involved. So I'm looking forward to this evening. I'm looking forward to all the, the next shows that we do. And um, I hope everyone enjoys it on the DVD. Thank you. What's your best memory with drink? Everything, all the shows and all the opportunities he's given us all. Jump, jump, jelly bean jump. <laughs> <laughs>